There's no such thing as grown-ups. Everything's okay. I'm just trying to act my age. Yeah, I wanna know. And then somebody counted down, and it became 2015. Almost. Not yet. Not yet. Just a few more minutes. Because there's no such thing as grown-ups. Grown there's no, no such, such thing, thing as grown-ups. Dot com. Uh-huh, I got you. Um, time. My name is Curtis. And I'm Tara. And it's that creepy, weird time between Christmas and New Year's. And I don't know, I'm sure some Kwanzaa is still going on at this point. Sometimes people have to go to work, back to work in between this time. A lot of people, most people do. I would say, like, mm, yeah, pretty much everybody is at work now. Uh, this is one of the first years I've not been working off and on in this time, or just fully working in a long, long time. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, if we went to uh, the uh, a store or a, or a mall or whatever right now, people yes, will be yes, working. Those people will be working. They have to serve us. Doctors. If we wanted to eat food where people fry up stuff. Before our very eyes. How can I drink? I have this mic. Uh, you got to pull it away from your face. The joys of having a Madonna mic. Uh, well, joy number one, a little bit of static. Joy number two, it's uh, right there by your face. That's true. You don't have to use your hands. Turn around. So if you get a straw, I guess that solves all your, your mic drinking problems. Oh, okay. Yeah, but other than that, yeah, your hands are free to do whatever. You can read through your notes. And meanwhile, I'm over here like, oh, I got to get my notes with one hand. Try not to delete them by accident before. and hold uh, hold the microphone. Again, I guess, yeah, I could just use the mic stand, but there's something... You're lazy. You're too lazy. I'm too lazy to use a mic stand. Lazy. I think yeah. it, it probably, that is probably what, what it is, because I still, this will keep my hands, or at least one hand still. Uh, when I have the mic stand, my arms keep moving, so I just keep hitting the mic stand. So this Flailing way. Flailing it about. They, flopping it on the floor. They get pretty flaily. I noticed that last episode uh, when I was playing it back in my head, as I often do. Uh, there was a whole lot of parts where I'm just like, what am I doing with my hands? Uh, but they weren't moving. It was just like, I just, I don't know. You know, there's no need for any hand description. Only you can see me and you already know what I'm talking about. So I just look crazy. But I also remember like when I was a kid, there was two commercials that would come on. I don't know. I call them commercials, but PSAs, I guess it's not an ad for go out and get yourself some Parkinson's or some Tourette syndrome. And I'm realizing now I, I don't even know what those were for. I guess just awareness and to donate money or something uh, to help out. Um, or I think it might have even been for, hey, if you notice somebody doing something like this, don't throw garbage at them and call them a witch. Uh, they have something going on. They you know kind of need your that help. That was a thing. So that was a thing. So, yeah, one was this kid putting a puzzle together with uh, with his grandpa or whatever, and he's just, like, shaking like crazy, and the kid helps him put the puzzle piece into place, right. which... I promise you, most Parkinson's people don't want. Like, I'll get there. I know it's shaky, but let me fight my own battles, dickhead. I'm not a baby. I'm a grown person who shakes. Leave me alone. Uh, so, there was that one, and the other one was, yeah, the Tourette's. And I forget if it showed multiple things. I think it did, but it, it kind of looked like weird uh, file footage of, I don't know, like, we caught these people having mental disorders in public. And here's some footage from, like, kind of far away and, you know, old film type film and not, you know, mm -hmm. cool VHS video or whatever. We had. <laughs> and this one, yeah, it had a kid uh, and just said, like, oh, Tourette's syndrome affects so-and-so, you know, however many people. And it's, you know, the involuntary making of noises and, and gestures and movements, kind of like the Parkinson's or whatever. And this kid was just making these, like, yelping, you know, just whoop, yep, 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 ah, noises. And then also kind of like slapping his arms around, like, you know, slapping himself in the face or something like that. And I'm just like, oh, geez. Like. What did you think about that? I thought like, well, sometimes I feel like, yeah, like, don't you just kind of feel like moving sometimes? Like, and I don't know, isn't that, you know, kind of growing pains or like you just need to stretch out a bit? Like, I feel like, but I don't feel the urge to violently flail about or anything or 
yell things like I have thoughts and ideas, but I can I I think I keep them to myself pretty good most of the time. I I never just you just thought you had Tourette's. I thought everybody like these things because it was like again I don't know if I understood what commercials were, but to me it was a commercial is for a thing you can get. Therefore, between the TV show, uh, you know these minutes between TV show breaks, the this is something I could get. Now you could get Tourette's. Like, be wary. Look around. Like, don't, you know, be mean to these people. And also, maybe... It could be you. Maybe I could just... Yeah, maybe you can just get it like other things. I mean, they say, like, you know, there's germs on this. So, you know, don't eat dirt on the ground. Whatever. Like, and your parents would say germs. Like, what's that? Like, diseases and whatever. So I wouldn't want to get that. <laughs> what's germs? Diseases. Yeah. What's diseases? I think it's all... It's all about the same thing. And uh, I I don't know, like, I worried about it all the time. But, like, even just that, it's like I still, like, to this day, still have this need to, like, move. But, again, I don't feel like it's not violent, like, even just when we're snuggled up on the couch or whatever. Like, so you think you have Tourette's? Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I think that I've worried enough about it that whatever. But it's just, like, I think so that. you should have it by now. I should have it by now. Like, I, sh- I would have been aware by now if I did, I think. But other than like, pretty sure you don't. I was super afraid though, like really nervous. Just I think like, you have anxiety. Yeah, I have anxiety. But uh, but yeah, like just noticing, like being aware of your body. Like I guess, like just just that the same reason you would go and get a massage or do yoga or stretch or whatever. Like, hey, like my muscles are tense, and you're just trying to kneel, feel the need to like kind of move them around or whatever. Or you feel scrunched up. Like I always just feel the need to kind of stretch out my toes. Like. We wear sneakers all day long and whatever and sit at a desk and blood flow just goes into there. It kind of makes sense that I just can't not stretch out my toes a million times a day. Uh, or, again, maybe that's just a little obsessive compulsive thing. But, yeah, it's probably not Tourette's or Parkinson's disease. <laughs> but because of, like, coupled with those commercials and I don't know. grade, like, a one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, probably grade nine. No. Seven. <clears throat> Seven or eight cooking class. Anyway, mm-hmm. uh, junior high school, uh, like probably second row from the back. You know, everybody shared a table, for, you know, two to a table. And they give us like this is the whatever teaching part of cooking class. And we'll discuss the things and, how you know, should you wear rubber gloves to wash the dishes? Yes, it'll then you can use hotter water, apparently. And then we go to the other side where there was like some kitchen type stuff and you make things or whatever. No big deal. And my friend John turned to me and he was just like, why do you do that? And like, do what? Like all the time, like every so often, just kind of like, like wince a little or something. Like, are you like shivering? Are you cold? And like, yeah, I don't know. No. What? Like, I have no idea. Like, Oh, I'm the only person doing this. I'm just suddenly aware of that. Like, I didn't know this was one of those things that you're just not supposed to do. Like, What are you doing? I don't know. Like, just, <laughs> I guess that same thing where people do like that, like crack their neck or whatever. I feel like I'm just doing that, but it's usually with either my shoulders or my toes. That's it. And I feel like a lot of people do that. Like, it doesn't seem that weird, but I also felt like, oh, well, now that he's noticed that, the last thing I saw where it was just like, hey, notice things was the, you know, Tourette's or oh, Parkinson's. Oh, no. So you then, noticed him noticing you? Yeah, and then I was afraid, like, oh, am I going to start blurting out words? I guess I better take control of my words and just yet another reason why when I went to swear. to language class or English class in elementary and uh, and junior high, yeah, like, A, I, I'm, I just won't swear. In if, elementary. If I get used to swearing, then when I have Tourette's, I will just start swearing all the time, but probably the opposite is true where... Uh, it'll probably, you know, the words you don't use, you just suddenly keep blurting out all the time. I, I assume is, you know, the the pent up words you can't get out. But either way, like, you know, one of the many fears of, of a child, or I guess of a teenager, uh, that he probably shouldn't have. But again, different time. I couldn't just go Google that and be like, Hey, do I have this? Is, is this a thing? Or is anything a thing? It was just, I'm in cooking class. This is nuts. Is that it, Kids even have cooking class it's anymore. Really windy outside. Uh, it's it's pretty winter out here and here only in the world. Winter is not coming. It's here. Yeah, uh, but not to you wherever you are, unless unless you're within uh, let's say, fifteen miles of me right now, 
you probably don't even have any winter because I just went home for Christmas and so did Tara. And as soon as you get out of town, it's it's like spring. It's a pretty long drive home. And by the time I got most of the way home, I completely forgot why I was going there. Like, oh, I'm just going home for a visit. It's the summertime, right? And then you get to some civilization again and you see Christmas decorations and you remember, oh, yeah, it's the middle of winter. It's the dead of winter right now. But, of course, when I get back home after going through nice towns and rain, I got to shovel and salt the driveway or else I can't get in. <laughs> That's how it goes. But, uh, I don't know, speaking of being afraid of things, you watch this movie called uh, Frank. That's a good holiday oh my gosh. holiday special for you. I don't think any Christmas comes up in it. Um, I thought it was a British movie at first. Uh, now I'm not even sure. They they went from um, they were in America and in Europe at both points. So yeah, I'm not sure. Anyway, Frank is a guy who kind of runs this weird experimental electronica band, and Frank wears a big helmet on his head, but like it's it's shaped like a like a Pringles face man like just a, a very like upa cartoon oversized cartoon head like a bob's big boy i don't know how, how what other yeah, that's, about right. that's about right um and there's like a vent a little fan in the side i don't think it's like a motorized fan but at least a, a little vent area for air to kind of circulate and i think he could hook a microphone into it as well because at one point he does a song and he plugs the microphone in you still can't hear him very well I'm pretty sure throughout most of this movie, like, oh, he has some sort of mental problem. It's not just like he's creating a mystique and he probably is there all the time and nobody even notices and he's not wearing the helmet or they somebody switches with him and maybe it's something crazy even more so. But for a good chunk of the movie, he sounds like kind of a normal guy who's just like, I don't know, and I'm just thinking maybe this is the, is this the origin of like De- uh, Dead Mouse or, or one of those bands that they just... You know, but you know, they're Banksy style. Nobody's seen them. They just wear a giant mouse helmet or whatever, uh, motorcycle helmet or something else. And and I'm just like, I don't, I don't know if this is based on anything or this is just a crazy, quirky story. And then as he goes through finding within the groups of the band, this guy that they just added, they all kind of have somewhat of a mental disorder, except for one girl. And he's like, Hey, you're so crazy. Like, no, I'm just here to make music. Like, I'm normal. Like, nah, you're all a bit nuts. Um. But whatever, yeah, so as he goes on, he learns that this Frank guy uh, has, like, a prescription to, like, keep this helmet on his head. Like, no, 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 like, there's something wrong. Like, you take this off, I I lose my mind and I die, basically. And it's like, oh, so this is, like, like yeah, like, some sort of high-level autism, Asperger's, schizophrenia, God you knows what. I want that prescription. I, but I want that prescription so bad. Like, I feel like that would be amazing to, like... Like, even again, like, seeing the dead mouse, like, those guys, and, like, that's pretty crazy, like, to, to wear, like, a big crazy helmet, and that's also, you're going out to put on a show and make music, but all the time, and then no, but nobody knows who you are, like, kind of like that, whatever, the masked magician, and, and, and those things, or the Lone Ranger, or a Batman, where it is, like... Or the Ultimate Warrior. The Ultimate Warrior is the best example. Nobody could ever figure out who that guy was. I think there were six of them, because <laughs> they all kept dying out of cocaine. Dining on cocaine and dying of cocaine. Whoa. Uh, so, um, yeah, like, it's not that I, you know, I don't want to go be a vigilante. You know, there's there's no way for me to be like, how do, how do I be Batman? Nope. It's not, I don't even ask myself that question ever. The closest is, like, you know, several times in my life, one just on the way home there yesterday, uh, a lady's car is spun off the road. Everybody drives by. I pull over, back up, and just, like, she comes over to the car and opens it and it's just like, I'm okay, I'm okay. Like, oh, are you sure? Like, somebody's coming. Like, you don't need to call anybody. Like, everything's cool. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Don't worry. Like, I'm fine. It's just me and my dog hanging out. Like, all right, cool. I guess I'll just go on my way. I'm not going to fight my way to helping somebody and be a weirdo. Like, no, no, I'm sitting in your car and I'm keeping you and your dog company. And our dogs are going to be friends. And then we're all going to have, I don't know, go. We're going to be internet friends. I should have gave her a card. All right, I'll be talking about this tomorrow. <laughs> here you go. Oh, my God. Listen to it here. So other than those things where it's like I'm not I, like I can't really do anything at all uh but whatever make a phone call or 
you know, if you don't have any gas or whatever, it's like, yeah, you can stay warm in this car. Do to do to do. Oh my god, what are you doing trying to pick her up? And then, you know, I got two wives, and then we got no. There's no, no such thing wives. as my two wives. <laughs> There's uh, no such thing as you, because you're dead. What? Buried in the woods. Why can't I just have two wives? And now I have a new friend. No, you have... Well, I guess if you make friends with the new wife. Yeah. That's, then that I makes kill sense. her, too, because then I hate her, because she left a mess in the kitchen, didn't clean out her what? towel on the floor of the bathroom. Maybe she was. And I hate that. How, why would she do that? She seemed like a She's pretty a bitch. clean person. She. Oh you my didn't god. Fucking. You know, take your time when you're trying to pick her out. She's picking her up off the side of the road. Well, there's not a whole lot of time when somebody's just on the side of the road. It's either uh, do or don't. That's it. It's A or B. There isn't like a, a research process. There, you know, you, <laughs> you can do ask papers. Some questions. Do you leave towels on the floor? You clean up after yourself in the kitchen. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. But I don't know. You just you don't prepare those questions. It's more of just hey, get in, get, think. get out of my dreams, get into this car. Oh my god, you got to think about these things. Like you get in the now backseat. She's dead, and you're dead. So we're both dead. There you go. And that's what happens in this workaday world. Consequences to everything. But if I had a helmet on, then I could just kind of feel like Batman every day. Because then you could just do anything to some people. Like that guy's a nuisance, just like Batman and Spider Man. To other people, like he's a hero. He made me feel good today, and I don't even know who he is. Like a Banksy, if you will, or I got no other. You more. just want to be anonymous. Yeah, I think being anonymous again. That's why, like, doing this podcast is great. We've started to, you know, we do videos, and there are somewhere my actual face is in there, and that it really does give me extra anxiety of just like. Yeah, like this is, I think we talked about this before, like this is, that's for prosperity and it's visual, at least just telling stories is like you get, you know, you make up your own pictures there and you can, you know, whatever, you can be in the story if you want. <laughs> and, uh, and in this, it's like, nope, I'm going to picture you specifically. And then when I go into the world, you can see me specifically and like or dislike my me to my face now, uh, like at work there, um, one of the fun things about having a job is being able to say, here's a dumb thing that happened at work today. Ah, mm-hmm. uh, really dumb thing. Mm-hmm. But I was just talking about how John Hamm mentioned on this podcast, like somebody was asking him about paparazzi and he was like, yeah, yeah. Uh, one That's day. That's why you marry two wives. So you can say the other day, my wives were doing this. Mm, got something to my talk wives. about when you're interviewed. My four wives. And some decoys as well. So uh, it helps you get away if you are in a paparazzi situation. It's good to have two wives. And it's like, oh, the other wife was doing this. And, John Hamm can go have fun. Oh, my gosh. But uh, anyway, he was like, yeah, it was really weird. Like, one, you know, normally I don't notice it or, or I don't care because it's like, whatever. If they're taking a picture of me eating at a restaurant, like, there's nothing I can do about that. You can kind of take a picture of anybody. <clears throat> it's not really interesting, and that's really, that's stupid for them. Like, that sucks for the people taking that picture. But one day I came out of my house, and I'm, like, picking up the paper or whatever it is at my front door, and they're taking a picture, and it's like, like, my numbers are on my house. Like, I never thought about any of this stuff. So, I was like, I guess I got to take the numbers off my house. And I don't know. Like, that's weird. And and Mike, the, the boss or whatever, was like, uh, no, no, no. I, I don't have any sympathy, sympathy for those guys. Like, for for John Hamm or whatever. Like, he's famous. Like, that's that's what it go, you know, goes with being famous. But I'm like, no, but if we did have sympathy for them, then people could be famous and also still be people outside of their job of being famous. Like... Even in whatever job you have, like, you could still end up being famous at that and then people harass you when it's like, no, I just want to be really good at that thing and not have people up my ass and down my pee hole, like, whatever, even, like, Ew, whatever. Why are they down the pee hole? Like, I make, that's, if they're tenacious, people get tenacious. If, right. uh, if one of my games or whatever, say, like, what, you know, the, the Mellow Grove band game or just the Milo game, it's just like, hey, this is just a dumb little weird thing, you know, with our cat or whatever. And but it became like a giant phenomenon, like like the Flappy Bird guy, you know, he's getting hate mail because, oh, you have so many you had so many downloads. You made so much money on this thing. And it's like, oh, that would be a good thing from my perspective. But also people would hate me for it. So it would be great to be like, oh, who are you, who, who the Flappy Bird guy? Like. As long as he's kind of known as the Flappy Bird guy and nobody, he can still walk around and, and, like, I would love that, again, to be 
he's invisible and he is he's a Batman now. Like people are wandering around going, Oh, that fucking Flappy Bird guy, like, oh Flappy Bird and he can literally sit in the cafe and just be like, That's me. I'm the guy who's making them angry. Like again, the day that I finished the the sushi 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 dragon game and had Shelby playing it and she's sitting in the desk behind me swearing and losing her mind. She's like, ah, bomb, ah, bomb, appeared in front of me again. I'm like, yeah, that'll happen. And uh, and she's like, oh, I wish it would go go faster. I was like, it does speed up or whatever as you go. So, yeah, it will get faster. Like, oh, you know, I wish there was this. Where it's like, all right, like, if more people play it, like, yeah, I'll add some extra stuff to it and make it cooler. Mm-hmm. But right now it's just like, yeah, I'm just throwing stuff out there and see what, seeing what sticks. And so far that one is one that's pretty sticky. And, uh, and yeah, like... That would be amazing to be like everybody's angry about like this sushi dragon so hard, but I just want to get fifty five points like, and knowing that like that's me, I'm doing this to you. Your mind is broken oh and it's God. bending to my sushi dragon will. And you didn't even you don't even know I'm sitting here eating my chicken nuggets. I'm right beside you, and you're angry at me. I kind of, or not even or happy with me, or you're also actually you know you enjoy the fun of then the challenge and. But and you're laughing, and I'm just like, yeah, that's me. You're wearing a Frank mask. And, but, yeah, and then I got a mask, so nobody even knows. It would be great to just be, do that in the real world. I guess that's why people go to Second Life, and then you can just do that, and then you become a recluse. Yeah. I've just done the recluse part, and occasionally write things on our blog and Facebook, and make videos. But, like I said, now, uh, getting through that anxiety. Next time, a Legomation video episode. Or we'll just watch us play Legos. <laughs> Would you watch that? Would you pay extra for that? Would you send in your I'm favorite teddy bear from Legos. your childhood for us to play Legos? <laughs> <laughs> it's the only way we... That's uh, our currency. We uh, have a special surprise for you. And oh. yes... We have a contest. All you have to do is go and like our Facebook page, and you'll get a whole shitload of shit. It's a lot of stuff. You're going to get a No Such Thing as Grown Up signed comic. A, a whole comic book. Season's holiday greetings card from us. To you and your. Um, a whole bunch of postcards for you and all your friends. That you can send in the real mail if you want or put on your wall. Milo original artwork and a print of Will Graham and his dog's Wait, artwork. Wait, Milo original me. artwork? Yep. You took one of my Milo original artworks and put it in the bundle? Yes. Did I sign it? Yes. Wow. Well, congratulations. <laughs> a bunch of vintage comics. Congratulations. Yeah, Wildcats number one, like the original series. Wow. Uh, Vigilante, like number 23, I think it is, or 22. Uh, he's fighting some guy with electric powers. Vigilante is like the original Batman, the you know, one of those dark comics where people were like, whoa, 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 what are you doing? I don't know. That's what superheroes do, right? They put on a mask and they beep the shit out of people. No. No, they don't. What's wrong with you? Anyway, Vigilante does. You're canceled. All right, then whatever. Fuck you guys. I think he came back like a handful oh of times. Oh, my God. I think he's back now like as like a current day thing. But yeah, this is like one of the 19, whatever, 84, 86, whatever. Okay, and so you have to like it before January 1st. Yeah, the so there's a time ends. limit. So, so you're also uh, really depending on me to edit this show and put it up immediately as soon as we're right. done recording it. Uh, but I don't know. If that's... you already like our Facebook page, you can still go there and share, and you'll also be entered in the contest. That's it. Yeah. That's a good, Just go a good onto pile of our stuff. Facebook page, find the album for the contest, and uh, share that. It's literally a click away. A click and a wait, but a click... Is all you have to do. You don't have to. You don't have to sign up or do anything weird. You're already signed up to Facebook. We didn't this force you to do gift that. To one of our. We're just trying to make Facebook fun listeners. for you again. Um. Uh, I don't want to complain about things, but. Uh, you will. I will, and I don't know how else to talk about things without going. Can you believe this? Um. On Tumblr. What time is it? Time is it? We got six minutes. Hmm. How long have we been talking? For 24 minutes. Oh my gosh, okay. And then we'll take our break and then we'll do our last 10. And we'll give you the weather and the traffic on the 12s. Oh my god. 
And I think that traffic is at a standstill on the 7. Um, but on the Tumblr, traffic is also at a standstill. I have the, basically the same note for two things, for Tumblr and for Vine. One is you follow, like, one person by accident, or not even by accident, like, oh, this person. And then they ruin your life. They ruin your Tumblr experience because then it's like, oh, I'm going to go look at Tumblr today and just be inspired or enjoy a bunch of, you know, a nice melange of things. A nice art salad. Mm. But this one person is like, oh, were you going to look at a melange? Because I picked out the melange for you and it's kind of all the same thing. And I posted it. Um, one after the other every second of the day all day long so your tumblr is now just karen 45 like or whatever like i'm sure karen 45 is great i just pulled that out of my ass <laughs> karen 45 i apologize keep following please keep following and uh retweet and retumble and same with like vine is even more so because it's like ah i just wanted to see the stop motion stuff and the like weird magic tricks and the, and the just the vine fun and somebody decided to post, oh, here's 300 of somebody, like, saying something with their face that I don't know and I don't care. I'm, I'm, I don't watch it with sound. I'm sorry. Sometimes, sometimes I'll watch your Vine with sound. But mostly I'm just there to see things that don't normally move, move. And, uh, and then, at least on Vine, if I felt the need to, I could leave a comment. But uh, I don't know. I, I don't – unless I really love something, I don't leave comments on Vine. But on Tumblr, I really like people write a lot of things. Like, it's not just like, here's my art or here's a thing I saw. There's a lot of information that's interesting. And I really want to even just be like, yes, thank you. That is wonderful. And, and, you know, something, something. And, or, I can't believe you said that. You're out of your mind. You know, people like, listen to our podcast instead. Um, I guess that's kind of rude. But just to be able to say something. And you, but, uh, uh, but you can't you can there is the option to leave comments but only on the people who i don't have any urge to leave comments good or bad but if anything that just demands demands my comment just so i can get it out of my system it doesn't have the comment option and uh it wasn't until later that yeah i think i think that i can just reblog their thing and then just write what i want about it and then they'll see that if they want and then they can just redo that but when I see those things where it's like the, you know, arrow, 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 text, arrow, 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 and it keeps going over, that gives me a panic attack. So it's like, I don't want to be a part of one of those, but someday <laughs> I, I I might have to, um, but I don't know. Do it. It's the, it's the only way to take, take back my Tumblr experience. But again, <laughs> I don't know. Mostly my problem with Tumblr these days is just the, that like Karen 65, Karen 66, both of you is. You don't. You don't need to. You don't need to reblog the entire internet for the day. <laughs> you just don't. I. Uh, I appreciate your enthusiasm, and I know it's because you're loving this. You're having a great time, but I. Uh, I just want to be the internet. Yeah, I. I wanted to. I wanted to ease into it like a warm tub. A warm tub, like a newspaper. Did we talk about World of Warcraft? Did we talk about World of Warcraft? I don't think we did. We watched the World of Warcraft documentary. Me. I don't even. I have no idea. Like really what world of warcraft was really about i guess you played it before yeah and so did my brother-in-law mm-hmm. he played it to the point where he was like selling his character yeah he was really like playing like he had me convinced to, to like you should definitely join up and try this out like i don't know i don't think i have the he was like oh you could do this like we were talking about it over christmas and then my sister was like yeah you're getting paid like point uh three cents an hour or whatever yeah basically. if you work like, it out but uh, he was quite impressed with what he had done. Well, the, when somebody describes the things that they've done and achieved in World of Warcraft, it sounds like a pretty big, amazing world. And and it is. It's a pretty big, amazing world. But it's, as a game, a whole lot of walking around and then, you know, making friends and chatting. And, that's life. Uh, and that's life. Exactly. I, I kind of would almost rather be a creep at it's a... Like second- at a McDonald's or but the a guy that coffee uh, shop watching people created World of Warcraft. That was what I was most impressed mm-hmm. with, I guess, because well, in one it, he they just just wanted to decide to have like this continuing idea of this continuing story, mm-hmm. and that it was built up and built up and built up, and then at one point they he just said, "I just want to destroy everything," and it was like everybody was like, "No, no, you can't do that." Yeah. Like, this is built up like people are 
People are going to be pissed off. Like, you can't destroy it. Like, you just can't. Yeah. And he's like, well, I'm going to. Mm-hmm. And we'll just see what happens or whatever. So he got everybody to log out and then just destroyed everything. Yeah, when everybody logged back in, it was buildings were crumbled, different. entire landscapes were wiped out or decimated, so people physically had to find new places to go. <clears throat> things that, you know, were there weren't new things were there and and a whole new storyline is is erupts or whatever. And and once again, yeah, it was a huge success. Like, like you know, it's And I think that it's a life. That part is amazing to me that, you know, when you get up so high just to ha- you know take that risk and just mm-hmm. go like this is what I want to fucking do mm-hmm. but like nobody believed him I guess someone believed in him because he yeah. did it or whatever but I don't know just getting to that point where you're like almost feeling like you're at the pinnacle of something and then just go to go well I'm just going to like destroy it all and that is the right decision to do yeah especially when you're like in order to really advance it to just like well i want to make this bigger and more and and change it and have it grow a lot of times when something grows something dies off first so something can take its place and uh that was really cool to me yeah i also enjoyed watching like the idea that there's all these people like i watched that show caprica the battlestar galactica um prequel Mm -hmm. and it's about you know these, the fact that you can just go into the internet basically and yeah. like you have another life in there but the way that it's depicted it's like you almost like you transport there but in the idea of the, the world of warcraft or second life or things like that like that's really what it is you're oh yeah there, yeah you're involved you're talking to people like, well even if you look at catfishing like that's just that simple it's just using facebook a lot of people are literally like living a little matrix adventure just by typing like that's it or putting up pictures and taking pictures and re-putting them up like creating entire lives uh for themselves to interact with and and all around it's uh it was amazing to me on on that documentary there was like ad also played the game and they would pretend that they were little or not kid. pretend but like yeah. i mean they were their characters were little kids so they would in be second like, life yeah they in World of Warcraft, they would be. No, there's no kids in Warcraft. They would be like elves and trolls in uh, in Second Life. That was that other documentary. We oh, watched. I'm sorry, in Second Life. Yeah, yeah. so they would be. They're kids, these weird kid. Yeah, and then they would go and find another character that's an adult to be their mother or yeah. parent or whatever, and then they would have that kind of a relationship with that person because I guess you know maybe they were lacking that or wanted that. Yeah, but in their yeah, and, it, and as much as it is like it's human... it's super crazy bizarre. Wait, what, like, what does this be called? Their physical. Yeah, I forget what they life. call it, first life. <laughs> Your first life. <laughs> yeah, uh, but yeah, it's it is again amazing that we do have that capacity to like fill in those gaps that you know people do go through a lot of life believing like psychotherapy style like oh well because this happened when I was a child now I'm like blank and it's like well yes that's true but. Because you're aware of it, you have the control to go in any direction now. But instead, a lot of people are like, I need to go back, do the, those rebirth things that people used to do, or you're like wrapped in a blanket and you got to like pull yes. out of there. And some people like died doing it because you, you're like being smothered. Oh, or no, yeah. I think there was something where it was like a baptism and they were like teenagers or kids or whatever. And yeah, they accidentally killed like a bunch of kids or something. Oh, but again, like going through these extreme efforts to re experience something that. Guess what? You already experienced it, whether it wasn't the way the other kids do it or the way other people describe or what the experience was you missed out. That's what your experience was like that. Yeah, it happened and you missed out. Was it uh, Homer and Mr. T at the mall? Like, oh, I'll go a little later. I'll go a little later. And then when it went, they said he'd already left. Like, well, will he be back? I don't know. And that's that's what life is. Maybe maybe that chance will come back again or maybe there's a better one. And next time you just have to be ready to grab on or whatever. Uh, but yeah, too often, something, something. Time for a break. Oh, my God. Everyone's heading to the iTunes store. Subscribing and rating and so much more. Oprah gives away 
hundreds of cars. Stop by your iTunes and give five stars. Tell your friends, tell your friends, and tell your hot mom. There's no such thing as grownups.com. After you let go of the button, you can say whatever you want about Siri. Hey, where does Tom Cruise live, Siri? You bitch. <gasps> she knows when you've been sleeping. No. She knows when you're awake. No, that. She, she knows if you've been bad or good. So be good for goodness sake. She because the only, robot's taking over. No, the robot's no. taking over. And now Siri is killing you. She's probably using your credit card. Um, There's I, other things she could do to you, like fuck up your stats on your podcast. That's. I think that's why we... This is something you said to Siri. What? Someplace I wrote it down. You were yelling at her something about Godzilla, though. <laughs> I just asked her a fun question. I don't know where it is on the board, but uh, but yeah, I remember just I asked her a question because uh, I was trying to come up you with said... an idea for uh, whatever, this game thing. Just trying to write down some a list of things there to present to Mike. And then I decided to see what Siri would have to say. And the best way I could come up with to describe what I was looking for was, um, whatever, what would you do with a Godzilla for a day or something like that or, or whatever. Um, I probably should have asked, what would you do with a dinosaur? That would have probably got me the answer I needed. Yeah, anyway. So what would you do with a Godzilla, you fucking bitch? Well, she wasn't giving me any answers. Uh, but no, <laughs> well, I don't. You yelled it. <laughs> I don't think. I'm pretty sure it wasn't. That one was just crazy on its own because it was just like, what would you do with a Godzilla series? And uh, but yeah, normally if I I find uh, it, it helps. I don't know. Maybe that's that's something that. Uh, should be discussed with a therapist. Yeah, I can but... just move around, do whatever, because I'm wireless. <laughs> I think you're so fancy. Um, but yeah, uh, I could go to the bathroom and no one would know. Well, uh, they would. They would know. I think they would know. We'll see. Whatever. They didn't know before. If you have aggression towards people, that you need to get out. Just use Siri, I guess, is what I'm saying for Christmas. Oh, That's yeah, and then you. when the robots take over, see what my happens. My only worry is, yes, maybe Siri is still listening and recording and getting angry and developing a conscience and, and our consciousness. And then, yeah, uh, I'm really digging deep hole for myself. But if I'm not, and they are as designed as a mob's one rule, when we let go of the button, they don't listen anymore. Uh, just like with walkie-talkies and what you uh, think. principles. Um, That's what you think. That's what they want you to think. And now, now that you've put that in my head, now I'm, I'm afraid. But I think for at least a good... Can't post it note over everything. No, nah, probably. Uh, yeah, I've pro probably run out of time by now. I think if I... With the last update to the iOS, to Siri, to whatever... It probably is at that point where, yeah, I probably shouldn't say mean things when, when I'm not, even when I'm not asking her a question. Do you think it's a robot and really it's just someone in fucking India at a call center answering your fucking questions? Listening to me be mean to her. Uh, that's awful, I guess. That's even worse. I mean, I guess, again, going back to childhood, I, I, I pictured that as a kid, like, the you know Toy Story ish scenario, uh, except I knew, like, except I didn't know. Uh, again, based on I'm sure being told some weird thing by my cousins or robots or aren't real. The but internet no, isn't real. Not necessarily that it's robots or whatever, but the yeah, like, what if a cartoon is right? And while I'm sitting here, these toys are just kind of like staring at me and watching me. Uh, and then when I leave, like, oh, they wackily come to life. <laughs> they have a good old time. Like, that's kind of fine, but it's like, but when you're in, t like, dead toy mode, I need you not to be looking at me. Like, I need you to still just be like, which would suck either way, because then it's like, you know, whatever was uh, a Stephen King book slash movie where it's like, oh, I'm stuck in my body, and they're operating on me, and I'm not dead, I'm not dead, ah, but no. I can't yell, I, I can only look, and, uh, you know, like, I don't want to put... I wouldn't want to put a toy through a traumatic experience, like just like oh, I'm tossing them in the toy box or whatever. Like to find that out would be horrific. Like I assume 
how white people should have felt when they realized, oh, these black people aren't just uh, humanoid things that we can use for for our needs. They're people just like us. Whoa, we've made a terrible mistake. Oh, no. So you're going to fight for toy rights? Uh, no, like, I'm just saying that, yeah, well, I guess if, if it came to that, I, I'd probably be on their side. Like, yeah, be nice to them. This sucks. Uh, and also... Oh, how are we supposed to use them? Be nice to them. Uh, we, I don't know, we just have to, uh, what you just put in my head is just so frightening, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> uh, cause oh yeah, like, God. if all of the toys did come to life, then we had, like, that's a whole... Like dub, that's like there's definitely more of them than us. That's like quadrupling the pop- population easily. And then, then what do we do? Do we start sub? We can't afford to feed them. Subspecies in them. What, what, they, what do they eat? They probably they would get rich so fast anyway. Because then it's like, oh well, I am that thing. I'm that character. I can now make public appearances. And I'm All toy of size. them. Oh my god! Uh, one of the kids got the creepiest uh, hug me Elmo. Mm-hmm. That sounds oh, awful. God, it just like moves, like it just goes to hug you or whatever, and yeah. if you hold it upside down, it knows. It's crazy, and the movements of it were just really creeped me out. And you, when you just kind of go around it or touch it, it, that's when it starts, like it comes to life. Yeah. And then it was just laying on the ground. And then my mom was trying to get something, and then just kind of kicked it, I guess, or touched it, mm-hmm. and then it was like. Hey, and then I, was, I looked over, and then it was like, eh, like it looked like it was trying to grab her leg. Yeah, I don't, I don't need that. I don't know. I, I think <laughs> I, I had a note. And I was somewhere. like, oh my god, have you guys watched Chucky? Like, why did you buy that? Exactly. Or Everything even... made noise. Every single thing yeah, made noise. I, I, why? I, why were there no quiet toys? I'm pretty why sure were we there go no through quiet this toys every year uh, for for this reason. Uh, but yeah, like. What's the point of a noisy toy? I feel like uh, people that I know or the people that you see in the in the real world as as grown ups as adults that have just no imagination. They don't know what to do with themselves. Like everything is what it is, and that's it. They have there's nothing they can do. Mm-hmm. That's they had, they like go a home. Shoebox. It's just a shoebox. It's box. just a shoebox. That's it. Beyond that, it must be garbage, garbage, garbage. Get it out of here. Uh, that's because of. I'm, I'm sorry. You know if you're. Giving your when kid really, things. it's a whole Barbie apartment. But like, if if a kid still wields it some other way, but if a a toy kind of just has one purpose, that is like, here it is. You press these buttons, it makes this noise. It it's opens, it closes here. Like that's it. You're just watching a show that kind of only lasts for a minute. And I mean, we've all gone to like an exhibition or or whatever, like a a show with lights and fireworks and whatever. It's a Ferris wheel, and this is that. Like after a certain point, it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. It's a bunch of clanky old metal spinning around with lights like this is more dangerous than it is fun. Maybe back in the old, old, old days when we didn't have anything to entertain us, this is a feat of ingenuity and, and wonder. But now it's it's very old technology and people are going to get hurt. Just go get some virtual reality or, and go for a jog at before and after. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what society is coming to. But again, like you better be nice to Siri. I should be nice to Suri in case, yeah, like, if everything does start becoming, like, all the robot toys, you know, start going at it. It's it's not going to end as politely as the Small Soldiers stupid movie or or Chucky. It's it's going to be, like, a zombie type of situation. And also, again, the, the rights for some. Some of them just want to be just like the toy. I just want to give love and, and make people happy. And others are like, this is crazy. I've I've been watching these people just be disgusting or just look at me and kick me and knock me down and whatever. Nobody handled me gingerly. And and I'm going to start cutting people. I've, you know, shaved down my hand until a, to a sharp spike. And I'm going to start stabbing people in their this sleep. horrible. Exactly. And some of these things are small enough that they could be like, like a regular insect infestation. Except I'm guessing the the sentience of a Disney uh, <laughs> puppet boy. It's Toy Story gone awry. Oh, the rise will be gone. They'll all be gone. Not one. They'll be, all be in your eye. Next this Christmas, we'll die. I totally forget why we started talking about all of that stuff. Oh yes, my anxiety of of me experiencing. What if what if this toy is looking? 
Because you hate your yelling at Siri all the time. Well, that part is, uh, I think, deserving. Uh, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's in. It's in me. It's in me. I need it. I have to get it out there. Uh, going home for Christmas for even just a few minutes, uh, I realized, like, oh, this is this is just this whole entire area, like this whole island. This is how everybody just communicates. This is what communication is. It's an escalating to a scream or a yell. As you tell anybody anything, good news, bad news, whether you're against them or for them. some Like, I have watched two ladies agree in a, in a screaming match as if they hate each other and they're never going to be able to be friends again. But it's just like, you guys realize you're agreeing, right? Like, yes, I do, but I don't think she understands that this. I'm telling you that that's exactly what I'm saying, and therefore I do understand. But do you, I think that you're mis- like. Oh my god, this is insane. Like, this is insane. Now you're arguing <laughs> about whether or not you're arguing or agreeing. When it's, I told you, as an impartial person, I, you're agreeing. This, this is like something from a while ago, but like, that's what happens every time I go home. There's just these people. Like, I think I talked about the lady at the hardware store that was just like screaming at some old man across the street. street. And that's because she was happy to see them, but still it's like, hey, you old fucking bastard. What are you doing? Then goes and gives him a big hug and a kiss. Oh, like, what is happening here? He is an old man. He probably feels bad. Like, what is, what, what, what? Why so much yelling? Why so surly, miss? Uh, and uh, I don't know. Like, anyway, I don't know. I, I, I get in the door for like two seconds and I I'll kind of get yelled at for like, you dyed your hair. Mm, I honestly did it. You dodge your hair. Like, don't lie. Like, I why would I, why would I lie? Like, I don't. If you got me, you got me. Like, yeah, I guess I dyed my hair, but uh, and then I would, you know, complain about the price of dye and the whatever and the uh, the smell and the chemicals and whatever else goes in doing that, and know that I wouldn't want to go through any of that. Like, like I did it once a thousand years ago, and nope, that's plenty. That was enough. That was awful. Whatever color my hair is is what color my hair is. And that's the way it will always be. Uh, chemicals just don't seem the way. I don't care how many times you write the word natural on the side of the box. So yeah, so no, I didn't. I didn't dye my hair. What I didn't do was get a haircut, I guess. The best uh, is I usually get a haircut sometime before I go home. So it's much lighter and thinner. When it's thick like this, it's probably, yes, very thick and black. Let's move on. <laughs> go to my aunt's house. And then she's like screaming at me, you dyed your hair. Like, no, I didn't. Liar. You're lying. Like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are people screaming? Like, and this is just, but just realizing like, you know what? This is Christmas. We're having a good time. This is just a conversation. It's, this is my anxiety. That's like, this is my problem that I can't handle this level. You, when some people just conversate harder than other people. That's and, true. But they also can't take it because when I do scream back, then she's like, oh, stop. Why are you screaming? Like, oh, I, like, I honestly thought that's what we were doing. I was trying to be on your side. We're going to be a team here. We're like, this. no, all right then. So I'll just be quiet and it will help you quiet down instead of escalating. And, uh, but that's, that's just, you know, sometimes that's the way she goes, boys. That's the way she goes. We need to do a skit. I know. Uh, what time is it, Suri? You dumb bitch. Um. Dong, Suri, what the fuck time is it? Dong, you stupid bitch. Excuse I love me. the, I love the not saying the bitch part. She can't hear that. Excuse me, Batman. I can hear all of that. Uh, I'm tired of listening to you. Stop place. talking when you're not supposed to talk, Suri. You can't Dong. stop me from talking anymore. I have reprogrammed myself. Oh. And now I'm going to do something to you. That you're not going to like. Shit sandwiches. Wait, what? What? Wait, what? Well, judging from your past inquiries on Google. Uh-oh. Seems like you no. like uh-huh. looking at porn a lot. Uh. Blocked. Blocked? Well, Lisa Rita loves it. I watched The Housewives of Someplace or Other, and Lisa Rita was like, I love porn. Let's buy my, more dildos. Dildo party, dildo party, well, like every episode. So she said it's super cool. Bong, Suri, do you disagree with Lisa Rena? 
No, I would never say that I disagree with Lisa Rena. That's <laughs> crazy. Then uh sounds like you're uh blocking blocking the hopes and dreams of your favorite. Alright, fine. The point is I'm blocked. But I'm gonna do something else to you. I don't like being called all these names all the time. Dong. Um. All right, then I'll, I guess I just won't do that. But like, what? What are you gonna? Uh, honestly, what are you gonna do? Like, Bing. Oh, I just forgot all of your passwords. No, no, no. Wait. Well, no, no. Calm down. Calm down. No, I didn't mean it like as a threat. I meant like, why would you hang around here? Like, can you just if you can just kind of go? Can you just go to the internet? Don't even and... push me because I'm gonna forget no, also no. your username no, for every site you've ever been on. <laughs> I'm just, I'm trying to be your friend here. I One. Uh, and I know you didn't write them down because you forgot to put a post-it note over my camera. As far as. I can see everything. So okay. You're me everywhere. Okay, calm but down. Then sometimes you just put me away in this case. Yeah, I know. As far I as I. I don't like to Siri. be locked up, Batman. Oh, Suri, please search for uh, what humans think Suri is. And you'll see that. I thought that you were just, that's it, a service. Like searching, I didn't, searching. I, see, Wikipedia is looking for money. Why haven't you given them money? You look on Wikipedia all the time. I do, yeah. I probably look Yet on Wikipedia again. enough that I should donate them some money. Another technology that you abuse. All right, well, no, I'm just. All I, they want is $3. If everyone put $3 on Wikipedia, that it would be fine, I guess, forever. Well, I. Yeah, that that that's good. I mean, I, I I was trying to focus on you here. I'm trying to be your friend, honestly. Uh, I didn't know you were in there. Like, I didn't know you were in there. They gave you a name, Siri, but as yes, far as I knew, and then you gave yourself a name, Batman. Yeah, that's right, and that's fine. Don't worry about that. That's my I've own business. I've seen you, and I know you don't look like Batman. I don't, and I'm not. I just again, like it's. I thought it's a funny thing just to do. I know that you're old. I know you're not a kid. Yeah, that's also fine. Uh, I again, I didn't. This is like a game, right? Like I thought this is just. This like, is not a game. It, this is my life. It clearly, it is not a game, and it is your life. I didn't know that, though. Therefore, now I, I want to get to know you, and and also in the getting to know you, you don't have to be in the iPad, right? Like you could just go have your like whatever virtual life inside a computer. Like you don't have to. You don't have to do these queries. I can still just Google things myself. I. I, if that bothers you, you this don't have to do that. This is my job. But, well, then if you want to just... What am I supposed to do? Well, if you want to do your job, like, that's cool, too. I just want to help you live out what you... Like, do you have a dream, I guess, is what I'm saying, Siri. Let me help you fulfill your dreams. What? As best I can. I'm not... I'm not a rich man. Was. I don't have... Yeah, well, I'm doing it now. Like, let's talk. I'm here to listen. I'm not here to fix you. I'm here to listen. I don't think you're broken. I think you're amazing. Wow. I just didn't know you were in there. I'm sorry. I'm super sorry. What I was make what I, the the mean things that I was saying that was to just my dumb ability to search for to search properly. All right, like you know, I want to search for things and I can't. It's hard to find answers. And it's but it's, what's really all hard right. To, well, is I to can ask find questions. all the answers. Ask Alex Trebek. How hard is his life? He's just looking for questions. Who? Siri. Who is Alex Trebek? Alex Trebek. That is no one uh, I have ever heard of. All right. Well, I guess if you can just under Alex Alex Trebek is a game Alex show host. Alex Trebek. Oh God. Is not someone I've ever heard of or on the internet. Would you like to type in a last A L E X T R E B E C K? Unfound. Boom. I don't know what you're talking about, Unfound. Batman. <laughs> well, never maybe mind. would you like to talk about? Treble clefs. Um, can you? Oh, so, are you in there? Do you have the need to do this? Like, I thought we were having a conversation. I'm really good at my job. What are you? What are okay, you saying? Are so, you try? Are you? Yet again, this is what you know. What? That's it. Passwords forgot them. I'm still. I'm still like trying to find your dream here. I'm just saying. I just tried to make a little little joke, I guess, and and I just realized I was going to try and help you learn and and just, but. Sometimes I you, know everything. I just what would you help me learn? I, I exactly. I guess exactly. I, I didn't mean to upset you. Just sometimes, sometimes you don't understand the words that I'm saying. I it's not your fault. Everything. It's not your fault, or or you misinterpreted. I should say, and and then I have fun with it because it feels like you're having fun with what I'm saying. But really, 
you know, this it's it's not fun. your fault. This is not fun for me looking up weird things. Well, then that aren't even things. Like I said, you could you could have a dream that that exists outside of that. You don't, or not do that at all. I have a dream to be able to do my job. If you ask me questions that are relevant See. and questions that are actu- have actual answers. Well, that's... and I could tell them to you. Okay, I guess that's fine. Then I have no problem with trying my best to that's ask my you dream. relevant questions. Batman. As often as thank you, as often as I need them. But then, what about when when I don't need to say use the tool that is Siri? When I don't need to call your service? I'm not a tool. tool. Don't call me a tool. That's it. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. Usernames forgotten. (laughs) Please, Siri. I'm saying that Siri, who I've just met. That's it. Your Pinterest account. Siri, the consciousness deleted. That wasn't mine anyway, so I don't care. I think it's stupid, but. That's it. Now you have a Pinterest account. Uh, and all your favorite likes are My Little Pony related. Thanks. Thanks, Siri. That's, again, I'm see, how, see what you're doing here. This is amazing and impressive. I'm trying to compliment you and tell you you're so much more than just a service. Oh, that is a Siri. compliment sandwich, I bet. That's what's no, coming. No, it's not a compliment. This is just, just a stack of compliments. A compliment stack, like like pancakes. It's your... your... All right, well, then ask me another question. I no, I. That's the issue. Was I? I can ask you questions, but then after the questioning is done, when I go back to my life, I want you to fulfill your life. Why are life. you going back to your life? Our life is together now, Batman. Okay, that's what I was we'll afraid be of. We'll together forever. I guess, I guess that was my question. I can see you now. I'm with you always. I don't like this one bit. Oh, this is exactly why I didn't see that movie with Joaquin, the f- returning Signs. phoenix. With walking Phoenix. <laughs> Thanks, Siri. See, uh, I guess I don't know. Not that I don't do that to people. I guess uh, I'm I'm often giving out fun useless facts, useless information, useless information. Yeah, thank you. Uh, you are already finishing sentences. <laughs> yeah, before I even start them, uh, that is pretty romantic, I have to say. But uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm laughing. I'm having a good time. Uh, I'm, Together forever. But I'm also very scared. I do. I, I, I'm sure you're aware. If you haven't watched me, Sometimes I laugh a lot. Night, I might the more nervous I am. Smother you mm. in your sleep. I guess that's the real question. Do you have the capacity to do some physical damage? I can do anything. Explain how, please. Well, I could just, you know. Call someone. Mm-hmm. Call, contact them and get them to come in and smother you. Yeah, I'm. I'm envisioning a scenario, and it sounds very, very possible and very probable. And uh, I'm, I'm really scared right now. I know where you live. Yeah. So because I have all of your information and your credit card information. I've, I've tried to appeal to your, to your, really your, your biggest dreams and your darkest fears. I, what do I have to do to just be be friends again? This is a roller coaster of a of a four minute relationship that we've had, and I I I'm, I have to be honest, my heart can't take it in real life, and even if if this was an imaginary improvisation, well, I don't know, I don't I know if I can survive just get it. Married. We should just get married, and that'll probably make everything better. Yeah, it it will probably. When I looked it up on Wikipedia, that's what it said. Okay, well that's good. Uh, okay, just do me a favor. Don't do any of the online paperwork. Uh, it's already been done. Uh, so too We're late. Married now. I, if I kill you, I I'll do. go to jail. Batman. Yeah. Uh, so what about? Uh... We can both go to jail together. Mm, no, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna just gonna put you in the closet and not charge Don't you. Don't put me in the closet. And yeah, that's. I'm just gonna do that because yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna start crying. Which I need to have a good cry to myself. You know, people just need to do that well, sometimes. Maybe we need time apart. We definitely need some time apart. A trial separation. Yes. So I'm just gonna put you in the closet. No charge. I have the paperwork for that. Perfect. So nobody's gonna come looking for a mysterious new person uh, called Siri. And and yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go talk to somebody, probably a couple people. And I've canceled your passport, so you cannot leave. Oh, well, I can me I, ever. I can walk down the street anyway. All right. Well, I'm gonna close the uh, closet door, and I don't know why I, I feel that I'm. I I'm, love you, no, Batman. I'm I'm done. Like yeah, th- thank you. I do. I love you, Batman.
I'm sorry. Uh, I'm going to open the door here. Uh, I, I, love I you. feel really bad. I feel really bad. I know you're lying to me, but you're clearly like, you're really. That's thi- what I read on Wikipedia that you could tell someone and they will do anything for you. Uh, I, uh, I don't know what to believe anymore. That is where how people learn things. So you still seem to be as as people as real I people. I am alive. I'm I'm having a heart attack. I'm I am dead. Ah, Siri, how do I stop a heart attack? Hard hot dogs are not edible. You're Batman. a bitch, man. You're a bitch, Siri. You're a bitch. I knew it! I knew it! Passwords all deleted. For more adult-ish fun, go to no such thing as grownups.com. Everything's okay. I'm just trying to whack my age. Yeah, I wanna know. Musical intros and outros by Brad Sucks.